Hi everyone, welcome you all to Taxi's YouTube channel. Today we are gonna see what is blockchain technology and what is the storage structure of this amazing technology and the transaction process. So let's begin. What is blockchain technology? Blockchain is a shared immutable ledger for recording transactions, tracking assets and building trust in a business network. An asset can be tangible like a house or cash, or even it can be intangible like intellectual property, patents and all. Virtually anything of a value can be tracked and traded on blockchain technology, blockchain network, reducing risk and cutting costs of all involved. Blockchain seems complicated and it definitely can be, but its core concept is really quite simple. A blockchain is a type of a database. To be able to understand what blockchain is, it's first better to understand what a database actually. A database is a collection of information that is stored electronically on a computer system. Large databases achieve this by housing data on servers that are made of powerful computers. These servers can sometimes be built using hundreds or thousands of computers in order to have the computational power and storage capacity necessary for many users to access the database simultaneously. So, how does a blockchain differ from a database? Okay, one key difference between a typical database and a blockchain is the way the data is stored. So, let's see what is this data structure in those two different technologies. A blockchain collects information together in groups, also known as blocks, that hold sets of information. Blocks have certain storage capacities and when filled, are chained onto a previously filled block, forming a chain of data known as blockchain. All new information that follows that freshly added block is compiled into a newly formed block that will be also added to the chain once filled. A database structures its data into tables, whereas a blockchain, like its name implies, structures its data into chunks or rather blocks that are chained together. This makes it so that all the blockchains are databases, but not all the databases are blockchains. This system also inherently makes an irreversible timeline for data when implemented in a decentralized nature. When a block is filled, it is set in a stone and becomes a part of this timeline. Each block in the chain is given an exact timestamp when it is added to this chain. So, now we have the idea of what is this tra uh, st storage structure of this amazing concept. So, let's move on to talk about what is the transaction process behind this concept. As a first step, initially it's a transaction that is being entered to the block. And the second step, the particular transaction is then transmitted to a network of peer-to-peer -peer computers scattered across the world. The third step of the, uh, the, the, this network of computers then solve equations to confirm the validity of the transaction. And the fourth step, once it's confirmed to be a legitimated transaction, they are clustered together into blocks. The fifth step is that these blocks are then chained together, creating a long history of all transactions that are permanent. And the final step of this transaction process is the completion of the particular transaction. So, we got the idea of what is blockchain and how the data is being stored and what is the uh, transaction process of this concept. In our next video, we will see why blockchain is so important and is blockchain secure. So, I hope you learned something new in our today's video. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video and also you are warmly welcome to add your comments down in the comment section and if you are new to Taxi Circle, 
Don't forget to subscribe us and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Hoping to see you soon in our next video. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.